Hello. This is a tutorial for Midas NFX Analyst Mode. I will show you how to create this finite element model directly into Midas NFX. And then how to apply a non-uniform pressure on it. So let's go into Midas NFX and create a new project. So select, select 3D and for the unit system, select Newton Matter and click on OK. Now first thing I will do is I will move the walk plane. So select this plane and click on OK. Click on the front view to view the 2D here. And um, what I will do first is I will create a few uh, polylines. So click on polyline. 2D is OK. Now, uh, first you have to enter the first loca location of the polyline. So enter 1, 1, 1. Click on OK. Then enter 0, 2. And if you enter several values, it will create several polylines for you. Click 2, 3, and finally 0, 15. Click on OK. Now you cannot see the polyline, so click on front view again. And you see the polyline is greater than uh, this plane. So in order to change that, just, um, just select here uh, the define grid options and enter one meter for the units of the grid. So now you can save again. Uh, now what I will do is I will directly generate 2D mesh uh, with this edge. So first I would like to um, define size control over this edge to define a good mesh. So click on size control and select these three edges you just created. Uh, select the interval length method and for the mesh size enter 0 0.5 you can preview seems ok ok now I will directly extrude and make revolve around this axe these uh, edges into mesh so for that uh, you have in the protrude menu you have revolve Select 1D to 2D, and here you have to select geometric edge 2D. Select these three edges. Select the rotation axis. And here for the method, select angle and time for the number of division. So enter 10 for the angle and 36 for the time. So it will make a uh, 360 degree uh, mesh. You can do the preview. Looks good. So just click on OK. And now you see I generated my 2D mesh. Now I will just hide the grid and all. Uh, OK. Now you have to define the material and some properties for your mesh. So click on material. I will just use the material which is already defined by default, so the alloy steel, so I don't need to change that. And for the property, it's uh, as you already defined the mesh but you didn't define the property, here you have no name, so you have to click here and click on modify. Here select the material you defined. And here it's important, you have to define the thickness of your 2D mesh. So one meter is seems a bit too big, so uh, select just 0 0.02. Uh, and here click on option. Here you can define also the fiber distance. So enter 0 for the bottom. Click on OK. And OK. Now my property is defined. And now uh, what I will do is uh, apply the boundary condition 
So I just go into static and heat analysis window and select the constraint. Select this space. The, the nodes here will be automatically selected. So 36 nodes and se select on select fixed. Click on OK. Now I want to apply a pressure on one face on, on the middle mid, on the middle part of this model. But it's not a constant pressure, not uniform pressure. I want to apply pressure defined with a function. So to create a function, you click on function, click on general. Here you can enter a name, so as it's pressure, I will call it pressure. Select the variable, so here it's z, from 1 to 20. And here you can enter an expression for the function, 10 plus z, z and click on Calculate to get automatically the values. OK. Now you have to create your pressure load. So click on Pressure. First, I will select the elements. So click on the top view and select like this all these elements. So all, all of these elements on your model will be selected. And uh, uncheck uniform distributed load because it's not uniform. And select the function you just created, pressure. Now enter minus one, uh, minus one for all these values. And it will be multiplied by your pressure function. So click on OK. And you see now the pressure load is defined. Now you just have to create an analysis case, so linear static. And you can solve it, say, to get your results. So it only took one second to solve this. And click here to get total displacement. So as the pressure is not uniform, you can view uh, displacement is not uniform either. So here you have the displacement and the animation. You can view the form of the stress. And you see on this part, you have a lot of stress, which is happening. So if you click minimum, maximum, you will get uh, the value for the maximum stress. So you see the maximum is on this side. And you can change the unit. If you want to see it in Newton per uh, millimeter, square millimeter, you can do it like that. OK. This was a tutorial for my Edison FX. Analyst mode. Thank you very much for watching.